Happy Friday! We're back! Cheers! And in honor of the Acolyte premiere this week and uh, episode 3 that's got everyone going crazy, I made a special lesbian Sith strawberry dark side drink. It's got two and a half ounces of tequila in this. Oh, yeah. Cheers! Oh, man, it's gonna give me some brain freeze. Ah. Fuck it, strong. I'm not lying. Hmm. Anyways, cheers, motherfuckers. Let me hit it for you fuckers over here. Hit it for Super Saiyan Joku. I want to have the world, the world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. <laughs> Yes, uh, Gomer, we're going to review the Acolyte and give you my two cents. I'm going to try to say something that the motherfuckers haven't already said. What cannot be said that's already been said by everyone already. Um, so, yeah. It'll probably be a quick thing, but I'll give my two cents on it. Uh, let me hit it for you, Gomer. Son of a bitch, for being here. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pie. Private Pile, I'm going to give you three seconds. To wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you! One, two, three! Shazam! Hey, fuck you, Gomer! You're right! I should have watched Bad Boys instead of, <laughs> instead of watching The Acolyte. God damn it! I fucked up! <laughs> alright, alright. Um, remember, this is. The the fucking broadcast or whatever the <laughs> I'm sorry. Those edibles just hit me too. Hey, Super Saiyan Joke <laughs> That shit I bought is super strong, bro. Oh my god, it gets me more high than the weed ever did. Uh anyways, the emergency broadcast and let's not forget we are also doing the illegal broadcast channel. Illegal broadcast is where we show fucking pay-per-views and we're going to be watching on Sunday, uh, June the 30th, Forbidden Door, AEW, New Japan, uh, Stardom, and CMLL, or some shit. We'll be watching that ass. Asses. Because several women are going to fight with big asses. It'll be good. And men. Men too. With asses too. I mean, you know. It's a little something for everybody. Oh, yeah. Cheers! All right, all right. Let's not get carried away here. There's a lot of tequila in that. I gotta take it slow. <laughs> all right. Uh, so subscribe to that bullshit. Not that ass. Uh, if you want. I don't know. If you don't, I don't give a fuck. Uh, but our social medias... Uh, is uh, Son of Man 665 for the X or Twitter, whatever, and uh, the underground broadcast with underscores in the middles for uh, IG, TikTok. We're no longer uploading videos, you can go under shit there, but it's all old stuff. Fuck you, TikTok dicks. We're on strike, we're never gonna post it shit for those motherfuckers. But anyways, whatever you send me with enough time, you cut it really close, Gomer Kyle. Uh, with enough time before the show, I'll show it here and shit. Like Super Saiyan Joku <laughs> earlier sent me this. It says, some yummy gummies and goldfish treats to get the cipher complete. I shit you not, son of man. These are real deal that hit hard like Holyfield. Cheers, mother flowers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag THC. Hashtag marijuana. Hashtag edibles. Hashtag smoke weed every day. I need to make a note. I'm going to sample that. 
I'm gonna sample. I think it's Nate Dog who says that. <laughs> I'm gonna sample that every day. Yeah, you can tell I'm fucking out of it right now. Those edibles are strong, man. This is stronger than any weed I've ever smoked. Um, uh, yours there says five milligrams per little thing. Um, that bag I have, it says it's five, five hundred and twenty something per. Hang on, now I'm fucking curious. I need to go get that bag. I'm not even playing. I need to fucking, this is some crazy shit. I'll be right back. All right, that didn't take long. Look, this says that each piece is 528 milligrams. There's a total of 5,000 milligrams in here. And and it was all... It's supposed to be like the fruit roll-ups. They're strips. But the way they packaged them or delivered them, it was all smudged into one big fucking ball. Look. I'll literally pull it out. Like, you see how it's supposed to be strips, but it's like just gunk all just melted on each other because I don't know, these dumbasses don't know how to package. It doesn't make sense to sell fruit roll ups like this because it's all gonna, with the heat, it's all gonna melt onto each other. So it's just a big ball of candy, is basically what this is. And I pretty much just tear a piece off. That's what I've been doing because I don't know how much is how much. And I get a good piece, like probably the size of that gummy. I'll probably get a good piece like that and I'll just swallow. I swallow it, man, because it's disgusting aftertaste. I hate it. Uh, I had to go brush my teeth the first two times I did it because I was like disgusted at the taste that it was leaving in my mouth. It's shit. Disgusting. Uh, so now I just swallow a son of a bitch without even tasting it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm like one of those birds <laughs> that swallows fishes. <laughs> but I'm swallowing weed treats and chill. <laughs> um, I'm really fucking high right now. It takes about two hours to hit. I took it around. Uh, it must have been five. Five something. Five. 30 when I took it and and I took it with my vitamin I have gummies that are vitamins vitamin C's and shit and B's and D's or whatever a bunch of oh yeah D's a bunch of vitamins and uh and I just you know to also mask the taste and shit uh they hit hard those gum those those uh what are those uh, uh fishes go gold treats do they have weed in them or are they just, uh, are those just munch your munchies, bro? Those little golden fishies and shit. Uh, it says that to get the cipher complete. That's my question. Uh, th this stuff, this stuff's so strong, man. I can't believe that it's legal now here in Texas to buy this stuff. And it flat out says right here, there's THC in this. This, this can't be legal. Legally? With the law, I don't think this can be legal. But they're selling them all over the fucking place. It's fucking badass. I had no idea. I've been getting ripped off by these motherfuckers down the street with the shitty weed. They've been selling me this whole time. It's been there in the store. Motherfuckers. Shit. <laughs> I'm never buying weed from the fuckers down the street ever again. Just go to the store and buy it there for cheaper too, and it lasts longer. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, uh, cheers. <laughs> I'm really high right now. Cheers, Joku, for sending me that shit. Uh, Gomer Kyle sent me this also before the show started. And it was uh, a Batman Pops that he did, or he bought, <laughs> that he did, uh, that he bought. Um, yeah, it looks badass. It's from the Arkham Asylum game. 
At the GameStop, I you know what? I was at the fucking Walmart and I'm fucking stupid, man, because now I am regretting not buying it. But I saw the Wolverine pop. The reason why I didn't buy it is because at the bottom the of the of the box it was crushed the box and i was all like well fuck man if it's this expensive i didn't want to open it but i should have bought it and the box is broken so i should have opened it and i would have had a wolverine pop even if i would have been open it would have been badass i fucked up god damn it i'm an idiot one of these days i'm gonna make a time machine and i'm gonna go back and buy the stuff i always wanted to buy Back in time. You know. That's what I'm going to do with the time machine. Anyways. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, it looks cool, Gomer. I like it. I like it. I'm not, like I said, I just, I, I'm not a big pop collector. I try not to collect stuff anymore, man, because, um, uh, I don't have room for anything. There's no storage where I live, you know, and I already have everything everywhere. Yeah, it's so I I don't I don't want to I try not to buy stuff I see a lot of stuff but I don't I try not to buy stuff uh, that's what happens when you just uh, when you're a nerd <laughs> cheers all right anyways let's get to reading the comments I'm getting too fucked up and too high for this sh ass. The first comment is DJ New Kid. <laughs> this motherfucker. On uh, the real reason no one goes to theaters, he put a. Uh, well, he just put a hundred and a bunch of little sparkles or stars. The motherfucker. <laughs> That's badass. Hey, cheers, DJ New Kid. Thank you for fucking commenting. Yeah, you comment every once in a while, motherfucker. I'm glad you listen and shit. David Latarte. This fucking guy from last week being Wong. On the Rob Liefeld is sick of Disney and Marvel video. This guy says that uh, Liefeld being able to afford drugs and hookers into retirement it's actually a pretty damn good it's actually a good thing it's a good thing he was saying um we can yeah, I mean, when you look at it like that i was just kind of saying that he's a dumbass because he 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 fucking uh you know he 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 should have asked for more money for deadpool and then now like you know he's you know and you know he's getting cocaine and hookers but if he had money he could be getting porn stars and escorts and fucking, you know, fentanyl and, and DMT, you know, white people drugs. You know, none of this fucking pussy ass shit that poor people are doing. None of these hookers from, the, from over here down the street walking around here. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Got no ass and no titties. Nobody wants none of that. Bitch. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, cheers, David Latarte. Uh, thank you for commenting and talking about drugs and hookers. Cheers. They need to make a way to hold on to these because it's really cold. I understand what what women complain about. Anyways, uh, let's keep going. Anthony Timmons, this motherfucker. On the Alex Jones Breaks Down video. What a crackpot. This dude is fucked up in the head. Always has been. Yeah, this fucking guy. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen videos where motherfuckers are protesting. And they're holding up signs and passing out pamphlets. And this is them who are down there protesting. The people, and they have the video. And they're telling people calmly that are passing by giving them flyers hey this is what's happening and this and this and and uh and and people are kind of you know some are all like no nah, no nah, but some are all like okay what are you talking about and then whatever and then all of a sudden alex jones shows up with a microphone the same shit that those guys are doing except alex jones is being crazy about it yelling and screaming 
and all the people that were interested in those people were getting their attention all of a sudden they're all like well fuck this that's the kind of people they roll with let's get out of here and they left and now nobody wanted to be there and those guys are are telling that motherfucker fuck you 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 narc you're sent here by the cops because we're over here protesting and, and making people awake and you come over here with your fucking bullshit just scared everyone away with your ass and you're screaming you fucking idiot <laughs> uh, I seen those videos, man. So I know what people are talking about. This son of a bitch. He could have been a plant from the beginning. You know? How the motherfucker got really rich? With with spewing bullshit too. <laughs> I mean, he was the one that did break into, what is it called, Bohemian Grove. That was real. That was him. But did it. I got the video. And that video is real. It's real. I've seen it. Um, But this motherfucker, I think he's a government plant. Like... They, they, like, maybe some stuff is truthful, but the government tells them, let's say, act crazy and say crazy. That way people can be like, nah, it's a bunch of lies. And, and, and I think that's what he is. He's not a real fucking guy. Uh, I don't know about this lawsuit. I think it's bullshit. That crying shit didn't even look real. Fuck you, Alex Jones, you pussy. I hope they do take everything away. Your studio, your house, your wife, your kids, everything. Take all their clothes. Leave them out in the street next to the trash can. All of them. So it's a bitches. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> all right, all right. We got it. We got a little too crazy there. Anthony Timmons, you see what you do? You bring out the worst in this channel, you fucking guy. Anyways, Anthony Timmons on the Tyson versus Paul uh, got canceled the fight. He says, I really don't care either way. Paul is a clown and Tyson is too old to be fighting anyways. Uh, you're very, you're very correct about that. And Paul, Jake Paul is a fucking, like, one of these guys who makes YouTube videos for clicks and shit. You know, one of these motherfuckers wears makes up, makeups and braids and shit. One of these motherfuckers. Fuck you. Uh, that's one of those guys, you know. Uh, and Tyson is old. I mean, he's getting ulcers just eating burritos and shit. I'm over here dying, taking tequila shots. The motherfucker over there fucking eating burrito before he gets on a plane, you dumbass. Fucking Tyson, you disappointed me. Yeah, yeah, the Jake Paul, he wants to go uh, bare knuckle fight some other motherfucker now. Like, he's like, fuck Tyson, I think I'll make some money. Oh, Anthony Timmons just got here. <laughs> Cheers, Timmons! Mm. I'm hitting it for you. I'm breaking it right now. I ain't making no more intros for people because, quite frankly, there's no more room in the keys for intros and sound effects and shit. So those of you who have got intros, y'all OGs got lucky. Uh, but yeah, Timmons... You're official. Live. Uh, yeah, yeah, we made you one now. You're in a woke pack, motherfucker. I don't know. I don't know what we're giving away this year. We usually give something away at the end of the year, but we'll find out. The, the new, the new, uh, broadcast. You know, we might be cheap on this one. We don't give a fuck. I don't know. Well, depends. It's supposed to be some comic books supposed to be paid for but he who should not be named to be mailed out that were drawn and illustrated by the cunt and written by me that son of a bitch uh never got it done but you all got t-shirts for three years you pussies <laughs> cheers <laughs> all right we'll see what we do this year i don't know it's been a bad year. 
We'll see. It, it, it can't get worse. <laughs> So that's what he said right before something bad happened. All right. Oh, Robo Igerd. Let me hit it for this Asian motherfucker. Konnichiwa. Robo. Uh, I'm not gonna, I didn't do that AI thing because uh, I just wanted to read your reaction and shit. He puts a bunch of laughing emojis uh, and he puts, damn you, son of man. Very funny, but I don't think my accent is that bad, or at least I hope it isn't. <laughs> Take care of yourself, son. Getting old is never easy on any of us. No, 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 no. Dying is never easy on any of us. Uh, we all suffer and we die slowly. And uh, most of us might end up dying alone. <laughs> Anyways, great show. Had a good laughs. He says, cheers. Hashtag. Live. Aw, yeah. And I just realized my token had not been turned on. There he is. All right. Cheers, Robo. Thank you for being a good sport uh, and for enjoying <laughs> AI, or at least AI ad attempting to sound like you. <laughs> Cheers, motherfucker. I ain't gonna do that no more. You sound like you're doing better, son. Uh... Uh, yeah, I, um, I'm not, I'm not smoking. Uh, and I haven't been drinking beer at all. Uh, but this is all I've been drinking. You know, um, and, um, I'm pretty much a vegan, except I eat chicken and fish. But I, uh, there's a lot of stuff I can't eat anymore. Sucks. All the good stuff. <laughs> Getting old sucks. Um, I lost a lot of weight in just like a week or two. It was crazy. Anyways, it's, uh, I feel better now, but, you know, it's just, you gotta change change your diet I guess uh, I don't know. I'm probably still dying but who knows I don't have money <laughs> everyone dies who gives a fuck we keep this channel alive every Friday till the day I die cheers let's see who else is next Oh, these fucking pumpkin patch motherfucker. Brian the world on Alex Jones breaks down. He says, Alex Jones needs some sessions in acting. He sucks at fake crying, laughing my ass off. Cheers, my guy. Gays gag on schlongs. Oh, cheers! <laughs> This guy's still using that GGS, the gays gag on schlogs. This guy's woke as fuck. Oh, yeah. Woke as fuck. Oh, yeah. Fucking Brian. Oh, uh, yeah. I gotta love them pumpkin patch motherfuckers. Go over there and subscribe to their asses. They're always fucking... They're always yelling at, at people. <laughs> and getting mad at each other. They, they, they bring on their friends on live call and then they all get up on <laughs> I want to go on there and I'm like, I don't know who this guy is, but yes, you're right. This guy is a pussy. <laughs> I can tell by the sound of his voice. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny guys, funny guys. Cheers to Brian, Brian World and the Pumpkin Patch motherfuckers. Thank you for commenting also. Oh, Indie Phantom is fucking leaving a comment and shit. 
Let me, let me, <laughs> let me fucking play his intro loud yelling. Yeah, for real. That's for you, motherfucker, Indie Phantom. Oh, some fucking uh, new guy showed up. Uh, Beck Neptune. Let's hit it for this fucker. <laughs> Happy Friday to you. But Indie Phantom on the X is now Triple X video. He says, Oh, yeah. I think Twitter had the triple X years ago when all the dumbass porn stars started promoting their scenes on it. Uh, naming the site X is just what weird troll move and strange branding, but it also is very current day. Cheers. Uh, ch party, party is what he says. Um, you know. I get it. I mean, because of SpaceX and whatever the fuck. But the allowing porn is like you said. I was already seeing porn. Actual porn. Dick going in. Dick going in. On Twitter. Um, it could be going in anything. All right. It could be, it could be gay or lesbians. All right, just dick going in. All sorts of holes. All sorts of genders and identities. But it was shown already on Twitter before Elon Musk even bought it and changed the name. That's why I understand that. Oh, now it's allowed. It's always been allowed. Fuck you. All the porn stars have their own twi tw sites and shit. They show that ass already. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't, it didn't make any sense to me. Just, you know what this is? This, this was clickbait. It was Elon Musk just trying to get clicks and shit. That's all it was. Cheers, Indy. Hope to see you tonight, you motherfucker. Um, Anthony Timmons on The Son of Man Knows His Worth. Short video. Well, you have to know your own worth. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, no, there isn't. All right. Send a man in the underground broadcast along with everyone in a woke pack. If we ever get signed, it's going to be for $400 million. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you all have jobs and shit, security and shit like that. Rounding up drugs and hookers. It'll be badass. It'll be like that movie, The Bikers. But you all be wearing makeup with bandanas. Oh, yeah. Cheers! <laughs> By the way, that Bikers movie looks fucking badass. The one with Tom Hardy and Elvis, J Gerald Butler or Austin Butler or whatever the fuck. Uh, it looks sick as fuck. Uh, Tom Hardy always got to be doing a stupid ass voice. It pisses me off. Just want to fucking go up to that guy and kick him in the balls sometimes. But I'm afraid that might anger him. And then he really would beat my ass. <laughs> All right, Terry Simmons. All right, let's see. Well, God damn it. I didn't even know this was here. Sorry about that. Where is it? Uh, I will apologize to Jitsimus because, uh, I, I didn't know this was here. <laughs> and so I don't have what I usually have for this fucker is I have Optimus Prime reading reading this. So I'm just gonna read it. God damn it. It's all fucked for tonight. Sorry, Jitsimus. It's shit. Alright, I was unprepared. I'm working. I'm a human being. And by this economy, it's not easy. It's shit. Plus, I'm only one person. Alright. Anyways. Uh... Jitsimus says, Greetings, wokest lubricant receptacle. Ha 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 ha. I said a funny. 
Hey, fuck you. You're not Splinter. Don't be trying to sound like Splinter. You sound like Optimus, you dumbass. Anyways, enough of the silly stuff. Let's get serious. The last transition we had, you asked if I, Jitsimus Prime, sound like Optimus Prime. And the answer is yes. And as for your drinking and smoking days far behind you, well, maybe it's for the better. I don't see Energon hurting your weak, fleshy throat, but sucking on tailpipe for smoke would surely bring your demise quickly. Do not grief, my friend. It best stay away from that poison. It's really shamed that your governments and your so-called leaders poisoning your people. We, what we need now is Mr. President Trumpet to take control more than ever before. Until next time, my friend, to all our one hashtag, uh, where one goes, one, where one goes, one, we go all. Hashtag. Live. I had to go back and think of the series, like what it, when, how it went, when, when, where one goes, one, we go all. I, th uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's what, how it, it is. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what any of that meant, uh, but to gibberish uh, about fucking tailpipes and uh, car parts. I don't know. Look, motherfucker. I'm still high and I'm still drunk, and that's all that matters. All right, cheers, Jitsimus. Thank you for commenting. And next time, I'll, I'll try to pay more attention, and I'll fucking uh, I'll, I'll, I'll we'll do your shit again, like we usually do. That was my fault. This guy's an OG. This guy's an OG. All right, he got a shirt. We we fucking shot it up in SpaceX, but Elon Musk, the dumbass, he can't even get the fucking thing. I should have got to fucking Bezos. But we went to Elon Musk, and a fucking shirt blew up with a goddamn rocket. Jitsimus, your shirt. That's why you never got it. Blame Elon Musk. Anyways, it took me forever to break in there and tie it to the fucking rocket. Well, there was some super glue and shit. It was going to go into space for you. Blew up and shit. Anyways. J Hart W on the X is now triple X video says... I was going to put a son of man out of context. Fuck you. Uh, but let's be honest, this entire video is out of context. Ha 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 faces. Motherfucker. Uh, fuck you. I don't know what you're talking about out of context. It's three minutes. Well, see, I mean, it's only three minutes, so you only get a jits of this. Fuck you if you don't like it. That's all I'm going to say. Go watch the whole shit for two hours. Try to get more views. Why we got 600 fucking subscribers and only 30 views on the fucking broadcast. Fuck you, YouTube. Anyways, we're moving on. Fucking J Hard W over here trying to motherfucker catch feelings and shit. Fuck you. Yeah. Thank you for commenting. <laughs> He's like a regular now. Oh, Super Saiyan Joku on the sun defense Kanye and his wife. He says, There's no way Ye is wasting his time on that whore when he could put something in her drink like Diddy does. <laughs> so post the DMs and maybe the public will believe the suit. Bitch. Yeah, show the text messages where he's showing you his dick and shit. She's fine like wine, though. <laughs> Cheers! Ma flowers, hashtag. Live. You fucking guy. That was badass. That was fucking badass. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's see, because he also wrote on the, on the Alex Jones breaks... <laughs> Breaks down video. <laughs> Super Saiyan Jekka goes, uh, This loser makes f makes us makes us men look weak with his bullshit crying. Where, where? Looking like a clown. Cheers, motherflowers. flowers. Cheers! Fuck you, Alex Jones. 
pussy. You 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 fucking federal agent. That's what you are. You tell you're a liar. It's a lie. It's a front. It's a fake. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's been a while since this rapist has fucking commented. God damn it. Well, let me play his intro. <laughs> it's no ma'am. No ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. I mean, I don't know. I might I might be into Amazonian Masterhood. <laughs> really tall, <laughs> well-built bitches. You know? So, <laughs> some Chris Statlanders, or some fucking Willow Nightingales, or some mommies, some fucking, what is it called? <laughs> uh, mommy. <laughs> uh, yeah, just say some Jay Cargills. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, no ma'am, this misogynist of the Alien Romanist video says, This actually looks pretty good. But then again, it's just a trailer. I'm sure you are, are right about all the characters being gay or things of that nature. But hopefully this makes up for the last two movies. Cheers, son of man. And hashtag. Live. Oh, yeah. Cheers, no man. You rapist. Uh, now let it be known. I we I don't know this guy is a misogynist or rape. I just it's, I don't know why we just it's a joke we said fucking th two three years ago. We've been keep keep on going with it. <laughs> hey, if you know, you know. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, cheers, no man. He's an OG. I think he got a shirt, an OG shirt. He might have got an OG shirt. Oh, let me make sure this is the last fucking comment and that's a mom motherfucker says I want the last word. No, no, of course. The last word in this fucking uh, broadcast is none other than Houston, Texas own Jose Trevino. Tu nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, yeah. Me tienes envidia, puto. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Joe. This fucking faggot says. What up, gay? I mean, you fucking guy, you. Great show as usual. I've been checking out Lamey W, and I don't get it. What do you think about Jungle Boy? And what about Ghetto Superstar Swerve and his suspect as hell hype man? Maybe I'm missing something. Also, I don't really care about the Venom movies, but that Venom horse was kind of cool. Another cool and funny as fuck moment was Robo Iger. Anyways, cheers, son, and my fellow woke pack. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. World order. Oh yeah, cheers, Joe Cool. Um, I'll answer some of your questions, you fucking guy. Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Uh, he's fucking one of the finest chicks on the roster, so I give him respects for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Um, and the ghetto superstar Swerve, he's badass. And his hype man is the shit. He's the one who came up with the dance and shit, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swerve when I drive. I swerve when I drive. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. That shit's badass. I love that guy, Prince Nana. He's a shit. Comes out dancing and shit. Yeah, yeah. It's badass. I like it. I like it. It's real. It's real stereotypical, but it's it, it, it works. It works. 
It's really racist, too. <laughs> when you think about it, like a, uh, like a dancing, you know. <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> it's super racist and stereotypical, but it works. I love it. It's just, it's just fucking badass. And he, he, he does it badass, too. It's badass. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, the Venom movies all have sucked ass. From the moment Venom spoke, all those movies have sucked ass. I'll just say it like that. All of them. Oh, God. And Robo Iger is a badass Asian motherfucker who lives in Florida. Cheers to him and his family. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Joe Cool from Houston. You better fucking watch out. There are all these floods and shit. I don't think it's happening over there. I think you're okay. I don't know. Last time you didn't have power. You guys were out of power. Are you okay, Jose Tremillo? I think he's okay. I mean, he has been commenting and shit. So obviously he's he's probably the only you know he's 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 probably the only motherfucker over there with electricity. He's over there like like a badass living like a king like Tony Montana and everybody's like please sir please sir and he's like fuck you smoking up blood by himself with all electricity in his mansion all these bitches all over <laughs> Fucking Joe, living like a king. Oh, <laughs> you crazy asshole. <laughs> Cheers. <sighs> Anyways, all right, all right. That's a little. I got a little bit crazy there with the comments. I do appreciate all the comments, uh, but I think we're done with the goddamn reading the comments. There's, we don't. There's not. I'm saying comments over and over again because I'm fucking stoned and high out of my mind. Leave me alone and shit. Uh, but I do want to say uh, that these are the social medias. Uh, I'm not going to repeat them and shit because uh, I'm really incompetent right now. But I'm not going to repeat any of this shit. There's the shit right there. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, we don't give a fuck. We're still here regardless whether you like us or not. We're never going away. That's right. And it's always... <laughs> That's what it is, bitches. And that's what we're all about. Uh, cheers! <sighs> right, we're done with the goddamn comments. Let's get this bullshit show on the road. And let's get into the weekly pop culture breakdown. And this week, no, that is not Rob Zombie and Sherry Moon or Sherry Monster or whatever the fuck his wife is. That is not them. No, that's Billy Ray Cyrus and Fire Crotch or Rosie Fire, Fire Rose, his, his wife, 63-year-old Billy Ray Cyrus. Don't tell my heart. My achy, breaky heart. I just don't think he'd understand. And if you tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, he might just go and kill this man. Woo! Oh, yeah. Cheers, Billy Ray. That shit made you millions, you son of a bitch. You didn't make no other hits, and you did nothing for the rest of your life. But that fucking song made sure you had millions till the day you died, you pussy. Cheers. Anyways. Damn, Billy Ray Cyrus had divorced his wife, you know, for years. M Molly Cyrus is why a mother. He had fucking divorced her ass. You're too old. I need someone younger, half my age. And he, <laughs> and he found this chick, and he married her. He said, "The love of my life." Her pussy's tied. She knows all these crazy splits and shit. So they got married. Seven months has gone by 
since that beautiful Sunday afternoon. The mother, look at the motherfucker looking like Rob Zombie and shit. <laughs> this mother, you know, like that movie, uh, what was it called? Uh, <laughs> what was that fucking movie called? Uh, A Star is Born, the new one with Gaga and this fucking big nose motherfucker, pretty boy. Um, a hangover motherfucker, I forget his name. But this, that's how he looks, like, or Jared Leto, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god, it's shit. Look at him, he didn't even look like he showered and shit on his wedding. Seven months! And that's it. He's divorcing her ass. He says, oh, she's a fraud. I thought she was a blonde, and then all of a sudden her pubes started coming out fucking brown. Fuck that shit. She lied. He's pissed. He's calling fraudulent fucking shit. But she lied about before the marriage. Oh, I'm a virgin. I'm 35 year old virgin. No one's ever fucked me. You're gonna be the first one, baby. 65 year old shit. I'm gonna be the first one in this ass. Nah, no, that ass was loose. <laughs> Hey, Billy could tell. Billy could tell. <laughs> Get out of here, bitch, he said. And he kicked her ass out. Uh, he was ordered to pay uh, for her to live and shit. Oh, DJ New Kid is here! <laughs> Interrupting the fucking show, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Motherfucker, we love you. Um, yeah. Fuck, fuck. Uh, the, the judge is making Billy Ray Cyrus pay her $5,000 a month for housing. Um, we'll see how that goes. She might end up with more. After the divorce is final, I don't know if there was prenups and shit. We have we, we, TMZ hasn't disclosed that information to us yet, unfortunately. All right, uh, but you know, I mean, this guy looks dirty as fuck. I mean, it was probably mutual. This bitch is probably like, "Fuck you! I don't. I'm gonna have sex with you. You haven't showered in weeks. You son of a bitch." Like you're wearing the same fu you're wearing the same fucking shirt you were wearing that when I met you, you whore. You just put on a black fucking suit on top. That's the same shirt you were wearing when I met you. She's mad about it and shit. Right there in the picture. Oh my god. This guy's dirty. Uh, but Miley Cyrus is happy because she said, no, no, this bitch is a trap. My dad belongs with my mom. That's why he's being dirty because he knows he's, my mom likes dirty men. That's why I'm dirty too. I like Australians. Big, big, tall Australians. So Miley said. That's what Miley said. Miley's pretty sexy, guys. Miley's pretty sexy. Nowadays, she's grown up now, matured into a woman now. Uh, she's she's pretty sexy. You seen that? You seen her dancing up there, fucking looking like fucking Tina Turner or some ass. It looked badass. It looked badass. I liked it. You know, I'm gonna buy me some flowers. Oh yeah, cheers, Molly Cyrus. <laughs> Not to you, Billy Ray. You're a fucking dumbass for marrying your little hussy. You idiot. What do you think was gonna happen? Dumbass live happily ever after. You know, fairy tale. This is Hollywood, you dumbass. We're moving on. Because earlier this week, motherfuckers, they announced that Tori Spelling and her kids threw a bunch of fucking ass. I think people suspect they were moving out or some shit. And they threw all this ass out there and they were showing. They were showing. To everyone in the world that you can take the trash out of the trailer park but you can't take the trailer park out of the trash when you comes down to it the motherfuckers 
take it out all their garbage and shit and just leave it in there. Hey, somebody, what well, Mexicans want to drive by and pick it up? Because that's what Mexicans do, right? Some motherfuckers in a pickup. Book, 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 they stop. Oh, oh, oh that, this is good. This is good. They grab a couple of stuff and they leave. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. That's what they were doing. The same shit happens all the time. I see it in these neighborhoods. All right. <laughs> don't pretend you don't know. Sons of bitches. The motherfucker baby Beverly Hills called the motherfucker TMZs and all motherfuckers came over here and they took the pictures and they exposed they exposed Tori Spelling and her kids and they said look at these dirty fucking these hicks coming over here to Beverly Hills doing this ass pulling this shit over here. That's what the tabloids were saying and shit. All right. Uh, but Tori Spelling has come out and wants to set the record straight for you motherfuckers. So you know the truth about what's going on. Here it is from her own voice. Tori Spelling. Of a horrific story that came out to see photos of trash and a trash couch, all just what they are calling dumped on the street by myself and my family. I couldn't allow it to go on any longer because it's completely false. It's, uh, I have, you know, dogs, cat. We have animals and I never profess to be the cleanest, most organized person. It, you know, I'm always like, oh, you know, it's, it's a messy, chaotic life. Um, but we lead with our hearts and I would never trash somebody's property. So... And you can't play the whole thing because of copywritten and shit. So I can't play it all. But she actually has the landlord come in and talk. And the landlord's like, look. They're getting new furniture. And they're tossing out the old one. And this is what everyone does. And it's, it's okay. I'm the property owner. And this is the rules. That's everyone does this. The trash is going to come and pick it up. And the landlord was saying, everyone does this. And why is it a big deal? And the tabloids are just picking on her because it's Tori Spelling and she's white and she looks like fucking white trash. And her kids look like white trash. That's, just, that's what they were saying, not me. I mean, they look like little blonde kids to me. Little blonde kids, little rich blonde kids. I mean, whatever. I don't give a fuck. But motherfuckers were talking shit, saying about it. they look like white trash and shit, like hicks over there, hillybillies. Uh, I don't know about any of that. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying, like. Uh, I mean, when you're rich as fuck, do you really want to go put your your couch and your sh the, the shit you've been having sex on over there in the middle of the street for everyone to see? You're rich. I mean, I would just, hey, go get me a couple of barrels of acid. And we're going to burn. We're going to melt everything in the barrels. Oh, yeah. We'll make a night out of it. We'll get high and we'll slowly melt all this shit. Oh, it don't be badass. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I would do. Uh, I don't know why these fucking, you know, rich motherfuckers are being pussies about it. Uh, man, man, fuck you, Tori Spelling, and, you got, and your kids, and your privileges, and shit, and you're mad because people saw your garbage. You're the one putting the garbage in the street, you dumbass. You're rich enough. You get somebody. To come and bring their... You get a Mexican, they're going to come and pick it up anyways. You put on a Craigslist. Free stuff, but you have to come and haul it in your truck away. That's how you get them. You get them like that. It's all free, but you have to come and take it all. Everything in, the, in one pickup. Take it all. And they'll come. They'll come right away, and they'll take it. And it'll be a Mexican. I promise you it will. That's what we are. That's what we are. I don't deny it. I just tell you the truth. That's the quickest way to get rid of all this this ass right. This is this is all good stuff for Mexicans. Look at all this. This is all perfect for them. I'm just letting you know. Y'all fucking up left and right. Ah, uh, you guys, you guys don't know how to live. If I was over there in Hollywood, I'd know how to take care of shit over there, man. I'd be like block leader over there in Beverly Hills. I run this block. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with us, fellas. That's the way I would be. Don't worry, don't worry, Mr. De Niro. I got us. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> of a 
Fuck you, Tori Spelling. <sighs> but since we are talking about Hollywood elitists, let's move into Acquit it, child molester. Kevin Spacey. Almost sort of broke down as he talked about his financial woes he faces after facing all these sexual molestation trials and not having a job where he earns millions of dollars and living a homosexual type of lifestyle that uh, is quite frankly very expensive. Um, and now he's here pouring his heart out to try to get some sympathy from all of y'all and I'll show you a clip. Here we go. Now you facing bankruptcy? Uh, been a couple of times when I thought I was going to file, but we've managed to sort of dodge it, um, at least uh, as of today. How much money do you have? None. Really? Well, I mean, you know, you have some sense of legal bills. Yeah. I, I still owe a lot of legal bills that you're I have not been in, able to pay. You're actually in debt. Yes. Do you mind me asking how much you owe? It's, uh, it's considerable. Millions? Many millions, yes. The what? house itself is many millions. What are you going to do? Get back on the horse. I hope that horse does not involve children. That's all I'm saying. Little boys, 14 years of age, uh, young men in their in their 20s, getting ridden like a horse. I hope none of that kind of shit is involved without consent. If it's consensual and he gets it on tape that they said uh, they asked for it, they asked for it, then eh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, but everything else, uh-uh, it ain't gonna fly anymore, Spacey. Not in this culture, motherfucker. Not when motherfuckers like me exist in this country. It ain't going down no more. Uh, fuck you, wanna come on here and try to get some sympathy? Well, I don't have no money and my house is... You wanna know why you don't have no money? It's because you want to live in your fucking $50 million home and you want to spend your fucking $4,000 dinners with your friends every evening and shit. And go shopping and buy yourself your little pink tie there, that $5,000 pink pussy tie you're wearing there, you motherfucker. I ought to slap my dick across your fucking cheek right now. Stay spacey, you pussy. Look at you. You weak, pathetic man. I want to slap my dick right on your forehead. Ah, what a sad, sad man. I used to look up to him, too. I remember that movie. Uh, what was it called? American Beauty. We got all pumped up and shit. Oh, yeah. And then he got Miro Mir Savari Mir or some shit. Was it? I don't even remember that little girl's name. She took off her top. And this guy was going to fuck her. It was crazy and shit. Somebody shot him in the head. And I don't know who it was. Did you guys ever figure it out? Who shot her? Was it the, the, was it the wife? Holy fuck. I never knew. Or the dad. It was the dad, wasn't it? The dad, the guy, the crazy guys, the, the the autistic guy's dad next door, wasn't it? It was one of the other. It was the wife, or it was the it was the crazy guy's dad. Ah. Uh, anyways, fuck you, Kevin Spacey. Piece of shit. You let us all down. You let America down. You pussy. You can take your ass over there to Britain and get your sympathy over there. You dick.
You ain't getting no sympathy over here. Over there, there's child molesters, Prince Albert or whatever his name is, Alexander the Great, that pussy who got excommunicated. Hanging out with Epstein and shit. I don't know what his name is. Fuck that guy. And fuck all of them. And fuck you too, Spacey. We're done talking about this fucking trash. Cheers! Not to him, but that the fact that they are trash. <laughs> Chris Cooper. Uh, I don't. I, yeah, it might have been. It might have been. Yeah, I don't know. I'll go. I'll take your word for it, Gomer. I'm fucking high and drunk and stoned. But let's finish off the main pop culture breakdown. With what everyone's always been waiting for. I know Joku is waiting for this. The Yeze! <laughs> and this week, someone was in a plane and went to the bathroom and took a shit or masturbated, one or the other. It was undisclosed what happened inside of the bathroom, but something definitely happened with somebody's orifices. Somebody's pants were definitely not on them in the bathroom when the door was closed. Whatever went down, went down. But when they came out satisfied from doing whatever it is they did in there, they were walking by the coach section. And they thought they saw trash. Two big bags of trash. And they said, fuck, coach. This is how low we've sunk that they there's empty seats. So they decided to put the trash in the airplane right here in the seats where we're sitting. Uh, so this guy took his phone and like quickly went like that to take like like to put on his Instagram. I fuck you. Let me tell this on the motherfuckers. And when he got into his to 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 tweet it, he looked at it again, and he realized that wasn't trash. It was Yeze and his wife, and they were there. It was just like in like Yeze in his Assassin's Creed shit. Like it just all white, so he just looked like a big trash bag. And his wife was like a trash bag or something. Um, and he was all like, "Wait a minute." That was Ye and his wife looking like fucking trash. But why are they in coach? Look at Ye, all z z fucking Xanax the fuck out right there. They did motherfucker is on the fuck out. What? Wake me up for ten dollars. Fucking Michael Jackson right there, Prince right there, ODing Prince, <laughs> Prince and Michael Jackson ODing on the plane. <laughs> well, no, no, not Jackson, but but Prince. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, that's so bad. Oh God, Yeezy, Yeezy, look at how fucked up, and he's got his titanium teeth on. You see the glisten. Uh, that's badass, Yeze. What is his wife wearing? She's too covered. Maybe because he's asleep. She's like, oh, let me cover myself. I don't have to be naked because he doesn't know. Because <laughs> if he's awake, I better be naked. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Poor girl. Oh my god. No, but you know what? They, uh, luckily, the airplane landed. <laughs> um, the airplane landed in Japan. <laughs> and when Yeze woke up, she had to change into her. <laughs> She took off her fucking <laughs> her trash bag and, <laughs> and out came the butt cheeks, motherfucker! <laughs> Cheers, Bianca said sorry, and Kanye West. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> they shopped around. Over there in Japan, like this, 
uh, everybody, all the girls in Japan were all like, damn it. We thought we were doing anime the right way. These Americans are doing anime the right way. That's what the fucking Japanese were saying. This is how you do anime. We've been doing it wrong. Those little fucking Japanese girls were saying. We're doing it wrong. Chi Chi Wong, Chi Chi Wong. They were saying, we're doing it wrong. We're doing it wrong, fellas. We're doing it wrong. Look at this uh, Italian or whatever the fuck she is, Aborigine. She knows what anime is. Right there. That's anime right there. Yeze too. Yeze too. Yeze's got his Assassin's Creed shit going on. That shit's legit. No lie. They look really futuristic. Like, for real. I like it. I like it. And I like this the the, the daring style and, and and the look. Um I will say I think I think it might be a little uncomfortable for her. Just a little bit. You know. Uh, it looks really tight really tight uh yeah I don't know I'd like to see what it looks like underneath I'm just curious oh how wide it gets if it even gets wide well I don't know this woman's walking around like this in public is all I'm trying to say. You make whatever you want out of this. Oh, yay, <laughs> God bless you and your wife. Cheers! Oh, my God. All right. I'm getting more water. Drinking that little thing was like drinking three shots of tequila and shit earlier. Just so you know. Uh, but let's get into tonight because we do have a lot of comic book nerd ass. And um, I'm kind of going to start. I, I didn't know whether to put this in the beginning, in the pop culture, or to. But then I thought about it. I said it deserves to be under comic book nerd shit. But I do have to start with a downer. Because, god damn it, bro, this news completely broke my heart as a nerd. And as a fan, Ben Potter, the comic historian guy who reads the comic books and, and acts and does the voices and shit. And he does it super fast, too. Sometimes he does them super fast. He's been doing this YouTube shit since probably the beginning of YouTube. Probably. This son of a bitch. I've always fucking watched his stuff. And uh, him and the other fucking guy, the one with the voice, what's his name? Rob. The black dude. The big guy. Hey guys. My, my name is Rob. Rob Cooper. My, uh, he's got that, 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 I don't know, I can't do his voice. I'm not good. But you know what I'm talking about, Rob? Those kids, I, 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 I fucking love those guys. Those are old G guys off of YouTube. Nerds. This guy fucking passed away last weekend. He was 40. <sighs> they said it was an accident and shit. Um, if you do enough digging on the internet, which I did. 
his car went off the road. And from what they, from all the evidence is that his seatbelt was on. He was not under the influence. He's not, he was not suicidal because they talked to everyone before the family or whatever. And before he left or whatever. And, uh, he was not drunk or high or nothing like that. And his seatbelt was on. Um, so they said it was an accident. He went off the road and he, ro he, he rolled over. And he said that, you know, he had a seatbelt on and the, and the, what are they called? The airbags went off. But his head took trauma. And I don't know. I don't know if he was in a truck. I imagine this guy probably, he looks like a, a guy who would drive a truck, I think, because he was a big guy. You know, he's a big fucking guy, you know. I think he probably drove a truck. They said it flipped over. Um, that fucking sucks, bro. Look, man. I don't know where he I don't know where this happened I don't know but I know some of these small because there's a lot of small country roads and I'm telling you anything can happen when you're driving like that in a second like just it's a, an accident's an accident bro it anything can happen when you're fucking driving bro anything it's it's actually when you when you sit down and you think about it it's very fucking dangerous to leave your house in a vehicle. When you think about everything around you and everyone else. Uh, it's, it's fucking crazy. Man, I don't know. I just felt like, shh, like, I just felt, I felt, oh my God, man. I, I feel for his family. I'll just... And his friends. That sucks, man. Cheers to you, dude. Uh, comic story. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. It'll be like 20 years from now and people will still be watching his fucking videos. Kids will be watching his videos. And shit. They'll still be getting tons of views. This guy, this guy will be a legend forever. On YouTube. Cheers to him. Ah. But let's get into more disappointment since we just got into that. Because Netflix and the Power Rangers have canceled their fucking live action reboot movie slash universe series ass that they had planned. And now Saban is looking for other studios to shop their fucking IPs to give us some money so we can make some money, some live action shit on some kind of platform or on streaming service or a movie. We just want some money. You can use it. No one's biting Saban. You fucked up. I don't know what happened over there at Netflix, but you fucked up. Whatever happened over there, they fucked up. That was their only chance to make something good out of anything right now. I wonder why Netflix fucking pulled the plug on their ass. They probably wanted all this woke shit and Netflix says, Not under us. Not under us. Trini is going to be Asian. The fuck she's going to be trans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Latina. Fuck you what they said we ain't pulling that shit yeah and Tommy's gonna be white yeah yeah Netflix was putting their foot down I don't know I don't know who knows I don't know which direction Saban is going and shit but I'll just tell you like that I, uh, this, this IP continues to be dead dead in the water no one likes it it hasn't been heard of. No one cares about it. And it's going to be continued to be unheard of. Fuck you, Saban. And fuck you, Netflix. And everyone involved who brought this travesty to light. Fuck you. 
But here's another shit that's happening. Hopefully they don't fuck this up. Because I already told you I really liked The Last Airbender Season 1 from Netflix. Yes, a million times it could have been better. But I thought it was really decent. And I think those kids will get more comfortable and get better. So next season, this is my hopes. But I think it was really good. Well, they already put the casting for Toph. A character in the mid-late teens. Blind, female, and Asian. Mid-late teens. Aang is fucking what? 10 or 11? Something like that. I think that's what Aang is supposed to be. Toph. Is supposed to be younger than Aang. She's supposed to be probably like six or seven. She's supposed to be a little kid. And they're looking for a mid or late teen. At least they're looking for an Asian blind female. Uh Here's the main thing that you all should hear. Here's the, the, the subtitles over here. I'll blow it up for you. Diversity. We are committed to inclusive, diverse casting for every row. Please submit qualified performers without regard to disability, race, age, color, national origin, ethnic origin, sexual orientation, gender identity, or any other bias prohibited by law. Note. There is never a fee for submitting or auditioning either. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yes. Lesbians are encouraged to fucking apply, apparently. So there we go. That's exactly what we're getting. Another fucking, fucking shit. Ah. They better not make her gay. Because she was not fucking gay. She even had kids. For fuck's sakes. Don't say. Um, alright, alright. <laughs> this is getting crazy. Fuck you, Netflix. And then you better not fuck it up. Because the first one was, it was mid. It was mid, to be honest. You better not fuck the next one up. It better be better. Idiots. Uh, speaking of fucking up. Jorge R. R. Martin. In English translation, George R. R. Martin, a fat son of a bitch, has announced da -da -da -da, that 10,000 ships, a prequel to the prequel they're already doing, is going to do a pilot episode to see if people like it. And if they like it, they'll do the whole series. They were fucking interviewing. Oh my god, it uh, pisses me off. You know, this fucking guy still hasn't written the last book. It's been four years since the show ended. The show ended. He still hasn't finished the final book. The show had to make up their own shitty ending because this idiot didn't finish the book. He still hasn't finished the book. There's another show coming out that supposedly he wants to write stories for after he finished writing the book. And now he's presenting another show. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. Uh, they asked the showrunners, did they, 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 a pair of lesbians or some kind of females? I don't know. I'm just making some stuff up. But I'm just imagining in my head because they what kind of people they hire nowadays. But a pair of lesbian directors or some ass... And they were asking them about like, hey, what's up? And and they were saying like, hey, um, this is gonna be crazy because it's like a pilot episode. So they don't they don't give us a big budget. So we need to make ten thousand ships, three hundred dragons, and a bunch of giant sea turtles. 
It is supposed to be a story of the princess of Dorne and how she becomes Dorne, like she comes to Dorne, and those that's where that guy, uh, Pedro Pascal, and those other chicks. The subplot that never went anywhere. Those chicks wound up in jail and all this ass, and then Cersei cut a deal, and then never seen from again. None of those fucking lesbians. Uh, they were all hot. They were all hot. They were all Middle Eastern too and shit. Indians and and Mexicans and Asians mixtures and shit. Orients. Yeah, yeah. Grandma got around. All right, it's not my fault. It was her fault. Anyways. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck you, George R. R. Martin. You want to make more fucking series. Finish the fucking book and then go tackle something else, you dumbass. You still have the hedge knight that's going to start doing. You already do the casting. You haven't written nothing for it, you dumb son of a bitch. House of Dragon is about to come out, premiere. House of Dragons about to premiere this fucking Sunday. We're finally going to have something good to review next fucking Friday. God damn it. Cheers to House of Dragon. The only thing that's fucking going to be good. I don't know about this. All this ass. This, this is all never going to get made. This is all just stupid announcements. This fat son of a bitch. Trying to clickbaits and hypes. Fuck you. Not until I see you do some work. Will I believe you, old man? You haven't even finished the book. Don't be talking about you. I'm, we're making this. The fuck you're making it. Finish the book. And then I'll believe you're doing something else. Pussy. Son of a bitch. Fuck you. Pussy. Alright, we're done with fucking Jorge R. Martin in this fucking Game of Thrones universe. Fuck you. Give you my my quick review of one of the best hey wait a minute Anthony Timmons is here has he been here this whole time this son of a bitch I'm tripping out but either way I'm gonna hit her for you again you know what it is Cheers. And I'm really fucking stoned and shit. And people are trying to call me right now. What the fuck? Do they know what's going on? I'm here with the woke pack. It's Friday night. And shit. Anyways. For the boys. For the boys. Premiered. Three episodes they dropped for season four. Hopefully we don't get banned for everything I'm showing you. What am I going to say? It's the boys. I think everyone, the critics are complaining like, oh, it's the same shit. It's the same shit. No, I think they took it up a notch even more. Um... Because this season and these three episodes already, all of this is a parody of all of us, of everything that's happening right now. All of it. Everything's a parody. Like, Homelander obviously is Trump. Fucking... This little redhead girl right there that the, we saw right now that was running away and shit. She is a combination. I'm not lying when I say this. See, she is a combination of fucking Alex Jones, Chrissy Meyer, and Melanie Mack. And I'm not playing. She's some crazy conspiracist and always yelling ranting and Christian stuff and how this stuff and they're the devil and this stuff and conspiracies about this and uh, it's crazy. Uh, it's fucking nuts, bro. And oh my god. Um, and then the 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 other people that are on on, on the, the what is Starlight side. They call them starlighters or whatever. And uh, they're basically the Bidens because they're all like, oh, they're all non-binaries and they just want to pervert your children with their ideologies. And, and I'm just like, dude, this is nuts. Like, 
it's just satire to our culture right now what they're doing and i think it's one of the fucking smartest like best fucking shows out there and the critics hate it because they're saying that this is not that good the critics hate it because they know it's true that it's making fun of them it's making fun of them and shit um and it's the boys, you know, you're going to see this gory stuff, and I'm showing you a lot of stuff, and, um, damn, man, they really go all out with this Christian and Jewish shit, man. Every, they don't, this is, like, worse than South Park, and it's only three episodes in, and it's just, like, worse than South Park. The fucking boys is badass. It's only three episodes in, and it's so worse than South Park. There's a lot of dicks in it a lot of di it is like fucking i was just like oh i wish i could show you guys and we'll get banned right away but i tell you <laughs> there's ducking dicks in this i was like what the fuck there's so many dicks in this three episodes and there's a lot of penises um we need we need some we need some tits <laughs> uh <laughs> It's a it's fucking fucking crazy show, man, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, what do I want to say about it, man? Damn. The you know one of the best characters is this little black girl. Homelander is they're trying to find replacements for the people in the seven, and since there's so there's empty spots. And so he he looks through the he, uh, he they show a bunch a list of a bunch of heroes, you know, candidates and they all do different stuff. Apparently those guys are from the comic books. I don't know. I'm not a nerd. Uh, but he reads one and it says her power is like she's the smartest person in the world. And so she goes to talk to her and she's a fucking bitch. And not, not that she's kind of a bitch, but she just tells you how it is. Like, you know, and if you're going to take it wrong, take it wrong. But this guy realizes, like, she's fucking smart as fuck. And he pretty much convinces her to join, to join in and say, like, because he tells her, like, okay, you think you're the smartest fucking person ever? And you think that you know how to solve, like, my problems and shit? And he goes then prove it How, or are you just gonna like you're gonna stay here in your stupid little apartment and 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 fucking whatever the fuck and be nothing or are you gonna go out there and take this opportunity and put your put you know your so-called theories to to see if they actually work he goes let's prove that you really are as smart as you claim you are and she she that's how he tricks her and she's all like okay and so she starts running the things for him and, and she's fucking, it's badass, the plan, because she's the one that orchestrates the both sides to start fighting. She starts a riot, and they start fighting. They kill some people, and then the other guy runs in there and drops them off and makes it look like the in the riot the people got killed. It's fucking, like, it's crazy what's happening. It's only three episodes in, bro, and it's crazy what's happening already. Uh, and this is, they have already announced that season five will be the last one uh it's crazy i don't i don't i don't i don't know how it's gonna end i don't know it's obviously not gonna probably follow the comic books i don't even know shit about the comic books but i've been fucking loving the shit out of this I fucking recommend this. Three episodes are out already. They dropped three episodes this week. I think it's good. And that's all I'm going to say about that. You can watch it. Or you can not. Alright. This week. Big titty. My time to shine. This fucking bitch. She posted it. She heard a rumor that they're going to shoot the Batman part two and three back to back. She had, 
at first posted that she wanted to wait to see if Mr. Gunn posted it. But since he didn't post anything, she went ahead and posted it. Well, luckily the internet asked Gunn, Hey, is it true, Mr. Gunn, that Batman Part 2 and Part 3 are shooting back-to-back -back next year? And James Gunn replied to this fucking nerd, It is not. Bird, my time to shine. Your rumor has been busted by James Gunn. You failed. You lied to us. You've been getting a lot of them. But this one, this one fucked you. Mr. Gunn is on this. He's on these. I, I am not going to fucking wait around. All right. You ask me anything. I'll tell you right away. They're lying. And he even went as far and he's got into the threads. And he went ahead on his threads to clarify some shit about these motherfuckers spreading lies like this. My time to shine over here. And he put because some guy asked him, hey, Mr. James Gunn. Because it's like one of those, if you're part of his little club, you thread, you pay some money a month. I don't know. I don't, I don't do that shit. Uh, he goes, hey, is it a rumor that Matt Reeves, the Batman Part 2, in the trilogy, it's canceled, you know, because you're a dick. You don't want it to be part of your DCU and shit. And James Gunn replied, of course not. And he put fucking the rolling eyes and shit. Fuck you, James Gunn. We see right through your lies. I know you're fucking lying. You want you want all of this Matt Reeves and shit to be canceled because you're all like, my Batman's gonna come out and we don't need all this bold of the brave ass and whatever the fuck Reeves is thinking about and shit. That's what James Gunn is thinking. You know, you can just you can just tell. You can just tell. But something that has now leaked. And everyone is talking about. But apparently Danny McBride and some other nerds that were writing the Righteous Five or the Righteous Brothers or their family or whatever the righteousness and shit on the HBO Max. Those guys are now going to write the Booster Gold show for DC and James Gunn. Probably not going to have Chris Pratt in it. They probably look for someone younger and dumber. Maybe like Ezra Miller. Or some, some other homosexual. There's a guy who says he didn't get to be Superman because he was gay. Maybe they can choose him. I don't know. We'll find out. But Danny McBride? Writing for James Gunn and DC? That's insane. He's going to get some good money. Finally. He's about to taste what Adam Sandler tastes. Good steak over there at that restaurant. Oh, yeah. Daddy McBride looks like he likes steak. That son of a bitch. Fuck you. Always eating better than somebody else. Son of a bitch. Anyways. Let's move on. Because James Gunn wants to show off more. He's not done with his DC universe. He wants to tell you that it's the best thing in the world. And you got some news about the Creature Commandos. Because this is coming to you now. Officially. December. Of this year. No official date. Just on the month of December. You're going to finally see whatever the fuck this comes out. Sometime in December. And James Gunn is saying... Some of these characters are going to come out in the Superman movie. That's what he said already. It's happening. And he says from now on, the way the movies and the universe is going to work is that there's going to be the movies and the cartoons but it's going to be the same character and the same voice actor. And if there's a video game, it'll also be the same character and the same voice actor if they use it in the video game. 
from now on. James Gunn's putting his foot down. Everything will be connected, not like Kevin Feige's universe that you don't know who the fuck is what. Fuck you, Sony. Fucking up the Spider-Verse and shit. Dumbass. We do have some leaks from Mr. James Gunn and his dumbass movies. But before I even start, I gotta give it up. Cause the cunt is here! You can feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slob ready, cause the cunt is here. Cheers, cut. You're the shit. Love you. Thank you for being here. Some of these assholes are probably passed out because they took a bunch of gummies and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But we have some leaks that leaked off of James Gunn. Somebody, somebody drove a drone over their their Superman sets. And we got our first look at Mr. Terrific. But it's not really like official, maybe. I think this is practice. I don't even think that's the suit he's going to be wearing. But these are all these people that I guess he knocks down. And just showing you context, there's a video I'm going to show you. But I want you to realize is that this guy uses these spheres, these balls, and he controls them and he knocks people out with them. So all that is obviously going to be CGI, but watch what he does in the video. It's pretty crazy looking. Um, <laughs> he does like a twirl going up. But I imagine there's going to be all these little balls everywhere. This is a practice. He's not even wearing the suit yet or nothing. Nobody's really wearing the suit. This is them practicing. Probably in a few days, we're going to get the full shit how it's supposed to look. But that's Mr. Terrific. Right there. Fuck you, James Gunn. When you don't want people to know, we'll still gonna, we're still going to know. We'll find it with drones and shit. These nerds have drones. That's a pretty good drone footage. I'm not going to lie. Uh, there's a bunch of shit. There was drone footage of some other sets. But I'm not going to show you farms. Farmland in a, in a city, like no, no, no. Show me some actors, some shit like this. This is the kind of shit I'll post on the channel, and don't give me some bullshit picture of a house. Oh, that's the house of the the mom. Fuck you. Who gives a shit? No, I'm gonna show you pictures of a farm. That's why I show you this fucking ass, motherfucker. That's the that's the actual guy right there, stunting, doing his stunts. Uh, but we want him with the fucking costume. Son of a bitch. Obviously, the balls are CGI. No more balls. The balls are CGI, everybody. Anyways, cheers to the drone people and the motherfuckers that uh, that bring uh, bring us these leaks. Fuck you, James Gunn. Your movie's gonna fail. You pussy. Wow. Speaking of failures. Out of absolutely nowhere. Sony. Acquired. The Alamo Draft House. Cinema chain. Wow. 
I mean, I'm gonna lie, the Alamo Draft House already sucks ass. It's gone down the drain and fucking quality and prices and all the other ass. The rules. Masturbations and things like that that goes on. Fuck all that shit. Ah. Look. Sony is already in the dumps with their Sony pictures. Their artists, they ain't got shit. Fuck you, Drake and Universal. Sons of bitches. You, they not like us. They not like us. That's, that's, that's the end of you. Sony, you ain't got nothing. Just trying to buy Animal Draft House. Nobody goes to the theaters anymore, you dumbass. Should be trying to make TVs that look good. Not these half ass LGs making better TVs than you, Sony. You idiots. You're embarrassing me. And everyone else. You're supposed to be the top Asian brand. You idiots. God damn it. Oh, we're running out of chips. We're running out of chips. Fuck you. Go to the moon and get some chips, son of a bitch. You'll be giving me to make excuses and shit. Fuck you. You dig underwater. Figure it out. Motherfucker. We need the electronics. You know what's fucked up is they take all that the ass, the trash, and they, they, they ship it over there to India. And there's a bunch of Indians rummaging through it and shit. And there's all these circuit boards. <laughs> and old cell phones and shit like that. It's fucked up. And mountains of it too. And I'm like, is it, I mean, is it impossible to recycle chips? I mean, can they not melt all that ass down and make new chips out of the melted old chips? Is that not possible? Am I stupid? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it works, fellas, but there's a lot of trash in India and it's not there and it's not their trash. I've seen the videos. It's really bad. Uh, anyways, fuck you, Sony. You Asian motherfuckers trying to buy Alamo. You you bought Alamo Draft House. You motherfuckers coming over here and trying to be like, oh, oh yeah, Texas, Texas. Oh, wear a hat. Wear a hat. Fuck your hat, son of a bitch. Got your hat right here. Tamagotchi, son. Fuck you. We're moving on. Just got racist all of a sudden. Uh, speaking of racism Disney has made a deal with The Rock Dwayne the Big Cock Johnson and Seven Bucks Production and they made a multi year multi-million multi-picture across multiple multiple platforms of Disney properties meaning The Rock is gonna be Apocalypse in the MCU The Rocks is gonna be the fucking bad guy for the Skywalker the next one or whatever <laughs> Or for the lesbian that is going to fight or whatever. Uh, the Rock is going to be in the fucking... Uh, in everything. For the alien movie. He's going to fight the Predator. Because all Disney owns that ass too. Uh, the Rock's going to be in all of their fucking movies. He made a deal. This fucking guy. He's a genius. For money. He knows that it doesn't matter if it's a failure. The, the sign of the dotted line says these movies are going to get made and I'm going to get paid regardless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking rock. That's crazy. 
Oh, wow. His, uh, his ex lover, mother of some of his children. <laughs> She's a genius, too. She's the one who manages all this, these deals and shit. Danny Garcia. Uh, cause, cause The Rock's married, or I don't know if he's married. I don't know. He, I think he might be married. I don't know. The Rock's with some other lady, and he just has some children. But the lady who manages The Rock and cuts all these deals is his is his ex. <laughs> but she knows what she knows about the money. And he kept her around, bro. Uh, but yeah, this is a, this is actually a good deal for The Rock. It's bad for Disney because they're just throwing their money away. I mean, they're not going to make no money off of this fucking bald son of a bitch. People love him. People love him. But Disney Plus was a couple of subscriptions. People will pirate the movie. Everybody will just wait till it's on digital and get it off some other site and shit. You know, no one's actually going to subscribe just to see The Rock. Or to see a Marvel movie. They'll wait till it's on digital. You won't make the money back. Disney. Uh, it's not The Rock's fault. It's just the brand's already dead. The brand's is dead. All of the brands are dead now. And then The Rock cannot save the brands. At all. Disney, you fucked up. You bent over. And you got what you wanted. A dick in the ass. Cheers. Uh, damn it, I couldn't segue into that. I was going to say, speaking of dick in the ass, but it's not. It's it's not. It's the complete fucking opposite. God damn it. And I'm talking about the lesbian, a.k.a. the acolyte, which I checked it this morning. It might have changed. I don't know. But this morning, even the critics, remember last week, the critics were loving it. Fucking 95, even the critics now have even gone down to 86. <laughs> the fans went from 25 to 17. <laughs> they went even lower <laughs> after this last episode. <laughs> Uh, I know you've all have heard a video of someone else already talk about this. So I'm not going to bore you with the episode and the shit that people have already said. And I'll just fucking say this. This is the most non-Star Wars sh uh, episode in any show of any production ever there is nothing here that says this is Star Wars maybe a few of the characters might have the look but everything else the dialogue the lure changes Le literal lesbian witches of a cult of lesbian witches that now use the force to do what Palpatine did and they give birth to two little black girls, twins. And it turns out that one of them's light and good, like one of them's dark side, so light and the dark. Inside, the two little girls split up. And these lesbian witches did it. And so that right there kills the kills anything about Anakin being special and being bored from no mother because oh a hundred years before any of that shit fucking uh no more than a hundred years than that uh, yeah 150 years before that shit lesbian witches did it so Anakin Skywalker f fuck you 
Darth Vader's not special, not the chosen one. They the same thing they did with Ray Skywalker to have Ray Skywalker completely erase that Luke was the greatest Jedi. The Ray Skywalker's the greatest Jedi ever in the end. And she changes her name and took each she even took his identity. I'm the Skywalker, even though she know she wasn't. That's how fucking bullshit it was. She even stole his identity and said, I'm taking it. You're dead. I'm the Skywalker. I'm the strongest fake. And now we're getting the same shit, but now they're erasing it from the past. So they're erasing it all from the future and the past. So in the middle, yeah, George Lucas wrote a bunch of shit. It's not true. Fuck you. Ah. Very bad writing. These little girls, I feel bad for them because you could tell they're trying to act with the poor material they were given. Because even some of these ladies that are acting the shit out of this, those are shitty ass lines they're repeating. These, these grown ass women who are really into their... It's sad that they're into their characters. They really are into it. But you could tell they... If you read all the interviews, if you seen what they've been saying, they said that yes, we purposely did this to insert insert our equality and our agendas and that we're going nowhere and that Star Wars is like this is this is it. It's part of it from the beginning before anything. And they've said it already in interviews and I'm like this is so bad that they're saying that this is literally Bob Iger literally had said they're not doing agendas anymore. And now these people are literally saying, yes, we put an agenda for this episode and we did it on purpose because we're putting our foot down. The, the male fans need to get over it. There's lesbians here. Uh, we'll see how your ratings go with those lesbians watching. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Look at right now where it is. All those lesbians are 17%. <laughs> oh my god. Look. This is the worst part of the episode. Is, I think you've all probably seen it. But I, I just. This is the culmination. And what I mean by. There is nothing in this episode. That resembles Star Wars. And here it is. Right here. The power of one. Oh my god, it was the weirdest scene ever. And lame and cringe too. I was like, what are they doing? That is nothing of Star. And you know what the worst part is? Is that they were not even creative enough. Or no, not creative. They were not smart enough. They don't know Star Wars at all. Because they weren't smart enough to say, if we're going to be lesbian witches, let's make us be Dathomir witches from the dark side. No, they're just space witches from the, you know, no explanation what they are. Just there, kicked away from the dark, from the, nobody likes them because they're lesbians and they, they do this in secret. Indoctrinate children also. They get mad when the Jedi want to indoctrinate their children, but they're literally forcing their children to be witch. And we, the other little girl doesn't want to be a witch. She's like, I don't want to be a witch. Oh my God. This is super bad writing. This is super bad acting. No, no. You know what? I can't bash the acting, man. Like I said, even these ladies, they fucking believe in the shit they're doing. But the, the ass coming out of their mouths is what somebody wrote. And the shit that, that's being shown to us is what somebody fucking, somebody else's vision. And the, this, that's why it's ass. Oh my god. 
It's fucking stupid. It's not Star Wars. There is no Star Wars in this episode. This might as well be Agatha, an episode of Agatha and shit. That's what Agatha's gonna be like. Whatever this episode is, everybody expecting um, the Marvel show Agatha. I can't wait to review that shit whenever it comes out. Uh, mind you, I don't subscribe. Y'all know where I get this ass. Um, uh, I feel sorry for anyone who pays for Disney Plus. This is what you're paying for. If you are a Star Wars fan right now and you like this, I want you to know that you really are you're really not a Star Wars fan. You're a fucking uh you're a tool. You're a piece of shit who who just fucking learned about this fucking three, four years ago and shit. You would jump on a bandwagon and take over with your values and shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Everyone else hates this because we we know Star Wars. We love it. <laughs> you pussies. That's all we're going to say. This is ass, bros. This is so bad. And it's probably going to get worse. Um, I'll review next episode. It's This is hard doing this because this comes out on Tuesday and everyone's already reviewed it, you know. And so... Uh, I want to say all these things, but everyone's already said all the stuff. So, I feel the same way. I mean, this Star Wars is dead to me. Honestly, I had already given up when I saw um, Andor. No. No, no. It was Mandalorian, the, the, the third season. Did it, did it, where I said, that's it, I'm done caring, bro. I am done caring. I am done caring. When I first started the denials was Boba Fett. I was all like, no, is it really? Like, fuck. Damn it, no. Then Obi-Wan, and I was just like, fuck, really? No, it's dead. For Mandal the last Mandalorian, Star Wars died for me. So I'm not surprised when I see this at all. That new show that's going to come out with Jude Law, it's going to be trash also. <laughs> it's going to be... Look, I, get, I, I know what Kathleen Kennedy and Disney is trying to do. This is catering to their new audience the younger audience who thinks like this but it's a lot smaller demographic and it's gonna take them years before they build up that money again to what they used to be making if that's gonna be their focus demographic from here on which it appears that it is it appears like it, 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 they've already lost a lot of money and they're not quitting with this. They're not stopping. So they don't care about it. They're going to continue it. Uh, and it's up to you to stop fucking paying for it. I don't pay for it. I still watch it. Trash it. And I'm showing it to you. Some of it. Hopefully we don't get banned for it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why people still subscribe to Disney Plus. I don't understand why. It's I don't think it's worth it. I I think that if I was a dumbass and I was gonna have to spend money on a service, I think I would choose Netflix over all of them. If I was just gonna choose one, I would choose Netflix. I think Netflix would have a better a variety. You know, but you have to really search because sometimes you can get stuck on YouTube's rabbit hole where uh I mean Netflix's cuz I used to have it where it just gives you suggestions and then all of a sudden you're just stuck on this one genre. 
and you're not seeing all these other movies that are coming out it's not showing any of you any of that stuff so you can fuck up like that too so you really have to search around uh because because it really is a lot of netflix movies variety but I learned my lesson. I don't pay for ass, and I got a VPN, and you know I still get to see all those movies at the same time you do too, at the same quality, for free. I only pay Winscribe VPN. God bless you. Cheers, Winscribe. I love you. Not a sponsor. Um. But let's move on to the Marvel ass and the main criminal convicted assailant and beater of white women, Jonathan Majors, who still hasn't served his community service and his his fucking uh, going to therapy. <laughs> For 15 minutes <laughs> once a month <laughs> every third Friday <laughs> anyways women are powerful you got to respect them yes yes I'll respect them I respect them a lot <laughs> all right you can go sign a paper thank 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 you thank you a lot thank you <laughs> um apparently this son of a bitch is going to be given an award an award that celebrates an individual who has shown that no matter what adversity they face they will continue to aspire I <laughs> even if I get convicted convicted of beating a uh, half the size woman, white woman, uh, half my age also, beating her down in public. Even if I'm convicted, I'm still gonna find a way to inspire my community and young young black men everywhere. Barack Obama. Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking Jonathan Majors, you dumbass! What are you talking about? You, he's gonna get an award. He's gonna get a fucking award for basically being a delinquent. Oh, what what is going on in this world? Why am I? not getting riches or women or or even some food in the refrigerator and shit some decent to drink some some better tequila and that cheap cheap ass fucking shit i just bought it didn't even have it's just a blue bottle it says tequila i didn't even i didn't say no instructions or nothing and fucking shit can't even give me the good shit the motherfucker over here talking about motherfucker Fuck you! Jonathan Majors. You piece of shit. You pay for your crimes! You didn't supposed to be getting awards! Who are these motherfuckers getting rewarded? If any of you out there in the comments, or any of you watching, if you beat someone in the street like that, under the same circumstances, I guarantee that you would be still be in jail from getting arrested that night. From that night, they booked you, threw you in jail, and you would still be in jail right now. They're, oh yeah, the judge will see you next week. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. The lawyer, the lawyer called. Don't worry. Next week, next week. Yeah. It's been months. You're still there, you dumbass. Not this guy. Because he's got money and he's famous and he's rich. He can beat women in public and it's a, it's fine when he does it. But if I did it, I'd be in jail right now, pussies. Fuck you. And fuck you too, Jonathan Majors. Looking at me with those murderous eyes. Fuck you. We're moving on.
Because the Blade movie has once again hit another bump in the road and they have lost their director again. They're supposed to start filming this movie in August in New Mexico. Here's the record so far. This is how many times they've lost two directors. This is the, the, the second one, Jan Dermaj, who just left. They don't have a director right now. But the writers, they've rewritten. This is how many times the script has been rewritten. Bo De Mayo, that's the motherfucker got fired from fucking X-Men writing it. Ah, uh, but look, this is this is a failure. The movie has not even come out. They even interviewed uh they interviewed Mahershala Lee's attorney and the attorney said, "Hey, from a professional standpoint of view, this is unheard of." He says, "We signed the deal in 2015 and they haven't even shot anything." That's his attorney saying that in a quote. He's un unprofessional and unheard of. We signed a contract in 2015. Let's make a movie. <laughs> 2015, motherfucker. <laughs> That's crazy. Fucking almost 10 years has gone by and almost not not quite there yet, but you know, that's crazy. Kevin Feige is racist and he doesn't give a fuck about Blade. Let it be known right here. That's the truth. That's what's going on. He's a racist. I'll tell you why he's a racist. Because his favorite characters is Daredevil. This white, rich, privileged m fucking prick. You know? That fucking... That, that pretends to be blind. Because he can still kind of see. He just sees everything red. That pussy. Uh, he lies. He lies. So he's a liar. So that's the kind of guy that Feige is. And the other guy that he likes is Silver Surfer. And it's a guy who's like beyond white. Beyond Nazis. He's like silver. And he likes that kind of shit. And he's naked too. Um, so that's Feige. And Feige doesn't like black characters. Think about it. Think about it. Think about the MCU. Alright. Sam Wilson right now. Mackie is unhappy with the treatment and the way the movie's sucking ass. Kevin Feige making it worse. Kevin Feige doesn't like Blade. I'm telling you. And this is what he's doing. He's sabotaging it on purpose. And the directors are having enough. They're like, no, man, fuck this. I'm not going to fucking work on this. The guy's being a racist. He called me Aladdin. Aladdin, come over here. Fuck you. I said, I ain't Aladdin, son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have been like, yeah, yeah, Zim Zim Salabim, sir. What do you want? Feige. Motherfucker, you want a finger in the ass? How about a boot in the ass, son of a bitch? What do you want? You're interrupting me, son of a bitch. I'm busy. Just see. I'm trying to finger that motherfucker over there. <laughs> what do you want, Feige? <laughs> yeah. These pussies over here, they, they don't know how to handle motherfuckers like him and Feige, you know? Yo, you gotta joke around with them and shit. You know, finger in the ass type of shit. These motherfuckers, Basam, Tranky over there, the Muslims over there, they don't know how to do that shit. Yan over here, fucking over there from Jerobi, from, from up there in the mountains. The motherfuckers don't know. What it's like, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, they can't hang, they can't hang. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, they need to get a, they need to get like me to direct Blade. Feige, I'll make this movie in a weekend. We'll shoot it all night. It'll be an all-nighter. Oh, yeah. Rugged style. Blair Witch style. All the cameras running around and shit. It'll be badass. 
Mahershala Ali just murdering people left and right. Ka ching, ka ching, ka ching, ka ching. Oh, yeah. That's all we want to see, anyways. Fuck you, Feige. You're doing the wrong, the movie the wrong way, you pussy. Ah, oh, Blade is. Uh, it's never getting made. Cheers to the death of Blade. Wesley was is Blade in the last one. You're right, Timmons. Let it be known. I'll drink to that. All right, let's get into the main Marvel ass. And it's none other than Deadpool and Wolverine news. Got some more images of Logan. Finally with his mask, but these are like some toys or some statues that they're gonna sell you and shit Here's the sad news about all this Because we still haven't seen it in the trailer at all and something tells me they're not gonna show it at all in the trailer I don't even think they're gonna show us anything else in the trailer. That's it and the sad part about it is I think we've seen most of the movie in the trailer already. Which sucks as well. The only thing we haven't seen is the other characters. The cameos. The other Deadpools. And the cameos. The small cameos. Um, but. I think that. Uh, this might be true. The current rumor is that he will only wear the mask for about 10 minutes and then that's it for the rest of the movie he's not wearing it which is why in the trailer he's not wearing it is because he's probably just in the beginning whenever he first runs into him then he takes it off and he never wears it again which is lame as fuck. Super lame. I wanted to see him wear it a lot. This kind of pisses me off and I hope it's not true. But all these things end up being true. Let's not lie. They do. But in one of the last trailers they showed recently, there was some spoilers people caught. We got our first look at Lady Deadpool. Which I still say that it is Taylor Swift. Most likely, most likely, it's Blake Lively, his wife. But... They are saying that it's not Taylor Swift, for sure. And that she's not even in the movie. It could be a swerve, and it could actually be Taylor Swift. Who knows? But there's the tease that there is the, 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 the spoilers are true. At least about the variants that are going to come out. So there is a Lady Deadpool in it. There's going to be a lot of Deadpools in it that we're going to see. Um, and then something crazy in the fucking that. Oh, my God. This. This kind of angered me and confused me, too, at the same time, because this could be good or this could be fucking bad. But the juggernaut. Vinny, what's his name? Oh. Fuck, what's this fucking bald son of a bitch? Vinny Jones. On the left side is the image from the trailer. He's there in the background. And that's him. <sighs> Here's an interview he did. Maybe a month ago. Funny enough, I just got asked to do Deadpool, the new one that's coming out now, and I spoke to the director and I just said, 
it's so it's such a drama putting that suit on you know mentally and physically i mean it it, it had its mental toll as well because you're in it and you, you can't do anything all day you, you you can only drink through a straw and it so we couldn't strike the deal for deadpool but i mean deadpool's my favorite movie of all time more or less but i really wanted to do it but i they didn't have the budget to do to put me in the suit So either this guy's a really good fucking liar. Or we're going to get a CGI deep fake. That's probably not going to look good. And that's what I'm afraid of. Because if he genuinely didn't want to do it for the amount of money they were telling him. Then they fucking... CGI someone to look like him. That's what they're doing. I mean, isn't that what they did with the Red Skull? They didn't get that guy, Agent Smith. They didn't get him to come back because he was bad-mouthing the MCU. After he did the Red Skull for Captain America, he was bad-mouthing it. He said he he's talking shit about that it's not acting and you're in front of a fucking uh, green screen and that the prosthetics and that it's ass and all this. You're sucking a lot of shit. <laughs> uh, so they didn't ask him. They just got someone else and it looked like it. Talk like him. They could do the same. He can't sue because you're not Vinnie Jones. We did the juggernaut. You look like the juggernaut. <laughs> so I don't know what it is he might be a good liar you think he lied in that interview you, do you really think that he fucking lied and he was lying to all of us oh my god that's some, some crazy stuff that I want to see this movie already we're getting closer to it I think it's, it's, it's in July isn't it? it I think it is in July we're getting so close to it, and uh, I can't wait. I can't wait for it. For sure. No Taylor Swift. Sorry, you guys. And Wolverine for ten fucking minutes. Ah! Fuck you, Feige. Fuck you. All right. I think I've ranted long enough, and I've been really zoned out, like really, really zoned out. <laughs> um, but I appreciate you guys being stuck around to the end and hanging out on a Friday night. Cheers to y'all. I'm gonna leave you with some life advice to take home. This should be a good life advice for everyone. Make sure before you go to bed that you clean up, tidy up. Make sure everything's in place and clean and shit. Looking nice. Delete your history and your porn before you go to sleep. Because some people die in their sleep naturally. For no reason at all at any age. And the last thing you want is to people find you in a, living in filth and ass. So make sure you fucking clean up before you go to bed. The best. Never know when you're going to die in your sleep. Cheers. See you next week. Woke back. What the fuck, man? Fucking running like lady, eh?